Hey guys, RC here, back with uh, Club 5, Episode 2. So uh, let's get into the club a little bit more. I think next episode we'll do the, uh, you know, we'll get on Google and look around and learn a little bit about the area. But, you know, today I'm trying to get recording done. I'm going out of town with work uh, tomorrow. So got to have some content for you guys, for you dedicated viewers that, watch my videos thank you very much for that all right so uh first off let's see we uh we're on a good run of form so uh they had won the first the last match before i took over we drew last episode uh we beat uh ustikens 2-0 uh nicholas henningsen and matthias spard with goals uh we were outshot i would have thought we would have been on the other side of a 2-0 uh game here but we ended up winning it a nil nil draw very evenly matched game nobody uh, really ever threatened with a goal and then we just beat uh, Lanskrona 2-1 Oscar Frieden our striker with a brace one at the beginning of the game one at the end Per Nilsson I swear to god that dude is uh plays for like 50 teams uh because I've you know no but seriously he he uh <laughs> I see that name a lot. There must be a million of those guys in this in this nation. So we're back today for the first round of the cup, and then we'll play Motala. Let's take a look at transfers. I have been busy. Uh, we have uh, Malmo is our senior affiliate. I did make a loan offer for one of their players, Axel Frisk. They accepted. He rejected it. Uh, so now we've gone back and made an offer on Nicholas uh, Le, uh Lejeune, and uh, hopefully he accepts it. Guys, I just face it. I'm going to butcher the pronunciations. Just have to deal with that. Uh, Harry Heinesen, Heisenen, we uh, have signed him. He will not join us till the end of the season. Uh, I was disappointed in this, but he can play the right wing, uh, attacking wing. He can also drop into the center mid. Very good, you know, pretty good physicals. Uh, a little bit of flair, but solid all-around mentals, except for positioning. Uh, Pat, he can pass the ball, which is a real weakness in the team. Uh, but passing, first touch, dribbling, crossing, uh, really gives us something on that side. Not very expensive either. So uh, let's take a look at the transfers. Uh, let's see. This was last year, so this was, yep, yeah, this is me here. All right, so the first guy we're, we're bringing in uh, cost is $1,100. Gianfranco Mazza, uh, we got him for $1,100. Four and a half star potential, two star current ability. He can play striker. Uh, he can play that right wing. He can also play left wing as an inverted. Uh, he is a right footer. Very good physicals, very pacey. Determination, flair, teamwork, work rate, all very good. He can cross the ball, dribble, first touch. He can even finish, so he could slot in, and he can pass. So, you know, if he cuts inside, he can pass the ball off. Uh, very, very well-rounded. He has to play two matches for us so far, 83% passes and 6.6 uh, .6 rating. Still getting everybody up to speed. Uh, the next guy we brought in came in uh, on a loan, from, and he came to us from Burkerad. Uh, from Eschberg uh, is Andreas Anderson. Uh, he is a center back, six foot five, uh, seven heading. I think he's pretty solid, playing a 6.75 in two matches since joining us. A little pacier than the guys we had. Not so much in acceleration, so he's not quick off the mark, but he's got pretty good pace. Decision making, concentration, determination positioning all that's real very solid mentals heading is solid marking and tackling are tens i think he's going to be you know a really strong center back for us and we needed an upgrade there uh jack hansen comes in from ac horsens uh he is a striker uh pace is average as is acceleration but he's got 14 touch 13 finishing 10 heading nine jumping and 12 composure and nine decision making so he has not played yet 
I am thinking about going with a two striker option now that I've gotten him. And the last guy that we brought in is Silvano Thoni. Uh, he cost us $950 from Berkerod. Uh, he is a left winger, but he can go up top. Can't finish, so he won't play up there, but he can play that left wing, attacking wing. <coughs> and that will allow us to drop the, the other guy back to that left back. And I think it solidifies us in two positions. I did look at some back line guys, just couldn't find anybody. Uh, but he's a natural left footer. He can't cross. That's the drawback with him. But he's got pace, acceleration. His physicals are really good. He's got some flair, solid mentals. Technique is good. Passing is good. Uh, adds a good free kick taker to us in first touch, dribbling corners. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what he can do. Uh, so he just joined us. Also on the staff side, we have uh, added a goalkeeper coach. Uh, so now we have a very good staff. We've added a, a general manager and a scout. So we have the highest in the league. And we've added a second physio, which, you know, boost us up there a lot. I'm probably going to let the head physio go and then uh, let the uh, second physio take over that spot. But that is what it is. Let's get into the match preview here in the cup. We are favored 1-33. to 33. So we are huge favorites. I don't think I've ever seen a favorite that high. So we've been playing the generic uh, wing style play, right? I think I want to go... This is, a rel this is a, the new tactic. Um... I took off the offsides trap. Pass into space, work into the box. All right, let's see. Marking, we're still slack there. Now you can see what we've gained here. We've actually dropped off a little bit, but you know we have gotten fluid in some of it. This one here. This is the one that I was playing with last year. No, oh, we want to. That's the offsides trap. I really, I want to give this one a run, and we're favored, so let's give let's give it a look. Oh, the other thing. Hold on, real quick. Staff, coaching team. All right, so Carlson is now the best guy. So let's go into responsibilities. And pep talks, friendlies. I have to agree with Loki Doki. I really do not like this particular screen here. Oh, team selection. There we go. All right. Delegate that to Carlson, our head of youth development. All right, I'm going to delegate some more of that stuff. Um, all right, so then let's go back to get to the right spot. And let's edit our guidelines. I want it to be Carlson. Set guidelines, and then we'll do the quick pick. All right, so Maza, Frieden. Thony, new, two new guys on the left. That brings Mont Jervy back to the left back like we talked about. Uh, Fault Orr and Bergman. Yeah, I don't want Bergman there. Where's, uh? yeah, Anderson's on loan. I want him in. I want Anderson in there. So let's kind of go through these. All right, Hellstrom, Holberg. All right, that's actually a good shout there. Pace, yeah, he's fine at center back. All right, Balter and, Sav and Savard. Six passing. He's got a 13 passing. Box Borgstrom. Um... Borgstrom, Borgstrom. 
if I bring him in, he's not even on the bench. Let's do that. And then Jack Hansen. I have two Hansons, Tim T. Hansen and Jack Hansen. Nice. All right, but he's more attacking mid right. All right, we have defensive center and defensive mid, mid right, mid right left, mid. No mid centers in there. So maybe one of these guys. All right, let's take. Let's take him off. And then. I guess we'll put Savard back on the bench there. That's that's who I was trying to get back on the bench. That gives me a mid center. All right, mid right, mid right left, central mid. All right, that's what I want. All right, submit the team. Let's check out familiarity. You always do. You, uh, it always seems you develop faster playing with the tactic rather than just training. Training helps, but the season was already underway. So we're we're you know we're behind the eight ball, right? Morale's actually pretty good with our recent run of form. We're heavily favored today, and we're wearing those ugly orange uniforms again. All right, well I didn't you know I don't pick teams based on uh, their kits, so too much red and and ugly <laughs> is my uh, my normal go of things. Oh, there's a nice header. Borgstrom lets that get away from him. Oh, there's a shot, and it sails high. A little lucky there. I'd like to maybe bring in a, another keeper. Hmm. That was a nice kick and a brilliant header downwards. Bounces off the far post and gets cleared away. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, no, that was a horrible finish attempt. Goes way outside. All right, let's tell him to get creative. All right, Sundstrom. Header down. Thony. Mazza. Oh, there's a nice ball in. Oh, my God. Was it flicked away? Yes. Okay. I thought that was going in far post, and then it swung wide, but I really didn't see the keeper. Oh, that one drifts in, and I think we've got a penalty? No. Was that an offsides? Really interesting. All right. Balter. Well, he drilled that one into Thony. Thony goes near post and is just off the target. Oh, come on. That's dangerous. Oh, good job by Adelson to get out to get to that ball. Ooh, that could have been a clean shot on goal there. Oh, that's a nice one. Get there, get there. Over the top. Borgstrom into the box. Knocked away by the defender. He's not a good finisher, I don't think. Of course, I'm still getting to know the players, too. I mean, we're only a couple of games into our career here. All right, we lay it off to Hellstrom. Into the box! No, he was off sides. Was he? Oh, I thought that was a good... I thought that was a brilliant ball. All right, hold on. All right, there's Faltor right there. Oh, he just drifted off right there. Yeah, there are all three of them off sides. That's just not thinking, fellas. Not thinking. Are we, uh, there we go. All right. All right, let's tell him to get creative. Ooh, they're inspired. And, you know, we talked, when I went to FC Mets, you know, we talked about um, being, you know, under the gun with the locker room right out of the gate just because of the club reputation and my reputation. And sure enough, 
Oh, there's a finish. Tony with his first goal. What a finish, and we're up 1-0. Probably should be winning this much more by now. Nice finish, though. But because we're coming into a team that's at our level, the locker room was way up in the greens right out of the start. So, you know, you got to you got to be happy about that, you know, and that's something you have to think about when you're going after these big jobs, possibly. Maza, oh, flipped away by that defender. Good defense. But there's the pass. Taken down in the box. Our star striker, Oscar Frieden, is going to take the penalty. I hope he does a better job than the last penalty we saw. Yes, 2-0. Eighth goal of the season for Oscar. Good, good, good. You got to like that. We're 17 to 1 on shots, 5 on. T oh, there's a stump. Send him off. That's got to be a straight red. Yep, he was the last defender. Red card. Thank you very much. Uh, complacency. Hello. Um, concentrate. Now they're overwhelmed. All right, so we've got a lot of complacency. 19 to 1 on shots, only 6 on target, and we're dominating possession. All right, um, let's go in aggressively. No, uh, passionately. Assertive. Yes. There you go. All right. So get them back up. And then you, with our old go to shout. All right. He lumps it out towards the mid. Good one. Look at the one touches there. Henningsen blows through the line. Oh, that guy, oh my God, he had he had Thony wide open if he would have squared it. He was wide open. Demand more. All right, he puts it down into the corner to Thony. He catches up to it. Oh, that would have been a brilliant goal. Sends it high. All right, we are focused after the shout. Thony drops it to Bit Balter. And he puts his first goal of the season in. Thony picks up the assist. Thony's looking dangerous out there on the edge. All right, 3-0. 25 to 2 on shots. Granted, we can't take anything from this game, right? I mean, we're a, man, we're, we're a man up. Let's go ahead and bring on uh, no pace. Bergman. Bergman's got no pace. Ugh. Anderson. Let's give Anderson some time out on the left wing for Thony. He's got a lot of pace. Let's put him on the right wing for Henningsen and rest those guys. And let's go ahead and put Jack Hansen in for Frieden. Maz is playing a seven. And we are blowing all three subs, but we're about 10 minutes late on our subs. The next subs would be about 10 minutes from now. So it all works out. All right. Praise. Six minutes left before stoppage time. Through ball. Flick on header. Hansen. And he finishes. First goal of the season just minutes after coming onto the pitch. <coughs> That's going to do some confidence building for him. Nice job. Boy, they cleared out that entire back half of the field. All right, a flick on header. Anderson crosses it in. 
Hansen passes it back. Good in, in ball. And an offsides by Evelson. Oh, that would have been another first timer. Mm. I do not need. Yeah, boy, they're barely offsides there, aren't they? Darn it. 4-0. Good job. 31 to 2. 60% possession, 10 chances completed. We scored four. I don't think you can do much better than that. Uh, we're going to go with uh, passionate. Uh, I'm very happy with the way you played. Good job. All right. Well, that gets us to the next round. Hanson scores on his debut. Balter is stellar. I'm going to congratulate him on his passing. And we will see you guys for the next match here in just a second. All right, let's take a look at the draw. I just do draw all teams. I'm not. All right, so Malmo is in there against Tord. And we draw Hasselholms from the Premier. All right, one thing I want to look at. So, okay, Malmo's in the Premier. Ew, that doesn't bode well for us. All right, so if we go to the Premier, right? That is the Alsvenskan. All right, we go down one. That's the Super, Super, Super Raton. Right? Yes. We go down another one. That's Division One. And then a third one. Okay, so that's a problem. The problem being is Malmo is three levels above us. So what we need to do is we're not going to be able to get their reserves. So we're going to have to go into their 19-year-old squad, and they don't have anybody. So let's go to our board real quick. And I want to look for a senior affiliate. Oh, they, they agreed with us. Yay. Cool. Cool. And I am not eligible for another coaching badge. Is that the highest badge? I don't remember. If it is, let me know in the comments. Continental. That might be the highest badge. Might be. All right, so we, did, we drew that. Hasselholms have made an offer of $5,200. So we would get $5,200, and then gate revenue would be about 10000 higher, and we split that. So we would actually make $15,000. That pays a month's wages. I think you have, as a lower club, I think you have to do that. I think you have to. We'll accept it. I mean, you know, we're probably going to lose to them anyway. They're three levels above us. All right, so we're going to deal with that. I got to remind myself I can't go on vacation because then that those get uh, ignored. All right, we're back for Motola in a moment. Just got to get there. So I don't know. Would you? Do you guys? Uh, hold on, I need to criticize him. Would you guys sell? Uh, do you think that was a good choice selling the uh, the rights there? I think we had to. I mean, it pays a month's wages for us. <laughs> uh, transfer deadline is in one week. I do want to maybe look at a right back um, and maybe a keeper moving forward. All right. We're, we're even with these guys. We're favorites. Um, I'm going to switch over to because we just played that one. I want to play this one now. All right, Frieden, Mazza, Thony, Balter, Spard, Hogberg. All right. Probably not the club I would have gone with, but you know it is what it is. We'll, you know we'll 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 work with the people that are here right now. Dressing room. Yep. Pick up where you left off. All right, we're in the orange again. 
All right, corner, Sony plays it in. There's a header. Did it go in? Oh, I thought that was in the net, man. I thought it was over, and then it looked like it was inside the net. Oh, there's a nice ball. Mazza makes the run. Cuts inside. Oh, that was so close. Oh, the keeper did get a touch on it. That was a goal, man. Anderson, right to the keeper. All right, we're putting pressure, boys. Three shots, two on target. Uh-oh. Mark them up. Mark them up. Dangerous. Dangerous. Flipped away. Good save by Adelson. I hate set pieces. Set pieces have torn me up in FM20. Oh my God, what the hell was that? That was a laser beam from Hansen. His sixth goal of the season. Gee whiz. Boy, he blistered that ball. Get creative. Oh, see, we put a blister on the ball and it doesn't go anywhere. Hogberg. Good defense. I thought he was going to get flagged there. Oh, see, another one. Right into the defender. Pat, oh my God. Okay, I got to see that one. I don't know what the hell happened. His second goal of the season. I'm not... Okay, there's Hogberg way out here. Looks like he just went to play it in and it just bounced and took a bad bounce on the keeper. And he just watched it. But hey. Praise. Henningsen's overwhelmed. Balter picks up a yellow card. All right, there's a good header. Oh my God, he came in. Holy sh... Nikes. I don't think any of our players want to get in front of those because they don't want to get killed. All right, bad play by the defender. And then just look at that. The keeper, I think the keeper alligator armed it, man. I think the keeper alligator armed it. Uh, I need to demand more. Come on. Yeah, just watch him. Just watch him. There you go. Oh, good save. And he held on to it. Got it out cleanly. Very quickly. Ooh. All right. Come on, boys. Nothing happened. Amazing. Amazing how that works for them, huh? All right, across the goal. Forberg gets another yellow. All right, we've got the shots. We're on target better. Even possession. In their own third of the pitch, but lost it there equally as much. Um, I'm tempted. I could go back to this tactic. Maza could play here. Henningsen, mid right. We'd want to bring. Bergman on here. Yeah, he can't pass, so that would definitely be all right. We're gonna do that. Um, disappointing performance. Play it calm. All right, 
Got a couple of anxious players. Let's tell them to push forward. Oh, they're fired up. All right, let's tighten up a little bit. All right, uh, Hellstrom. Oh, he's horrible. Baltor. Let's do that. Let's encourage him. All right, there's the cross in header. Sales high. Sparred. Nobody made the run. Oh, cuts inside of him. Just does him for fun. Offside, Sproberg. Thank goodness. Yeah, he was definitely offsides. I don't need to watch that again. All right, let's see. Six nine, six three. Anybody else that could play defensive left? I don't think so. Um, let's bring some fresh legs on here. 237 in attendance in the Fuchsia Stadium. Man, that was a nice uh, scissor volley kick, huh? Oh, come on. He was off sides again. Thank God. All right, push forward. And we need to go attacking. Bellander. Well, you can't play it. You're off sides. It came back to him too quick. That was a unintelligent play by the by the his teammate. Pretty even. Pretty even pretty even I mean we were on the short end of a lot of these but pretty even right even higher higher I'm gonna say two ones a fair result there but we're still gonna tell them it was disappointing I, I expect more our, our uh, unbeaten run uh, does end five games and let's finish the day out so we can look at the standings. All right. So, starting here, draw, win, draw, win, win, loss. So, first loss on my watch. That does have us in 11th position. Only one point with 24. We're actually just one game out of mid-table. One game. We've gotten our goal differential back to positive. So we're right in line with every other team right in this group, with the exception of Carlsland. Uh, they're a plus five. But we're right there, right there. Is that who we just played? No. Who did we just play? Motala? And they're, now the problem is they're right behind us. So that's probably our neighborhood right now. Probably all these teams are, are right in that same group. All right, where do we come back? Well, I'm going to go ahead and play. We're going to lose that match, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and get through August and 6th, 9th, 2nd. Oh, my gosh, that's a rough run in September. I guess let's go ahead and come back at the beginning of September. Because then that's, we'll do that, and then we'll come back for this end of season, I suppose. Bannersburg. Yeah. So we'll come back for uh, Frey Tabi 
and Carlsland. And then we'll come back after that for Bannersburg and Sava Dalens and see where we end up. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. I am going to try to go out and get another player. Now, see, there's another striker. I don't need that. But anyway, I'll do this off camera. I, I do want a, I want a right back. I wouldn't mind another center back. And if we're going to keep playing this tactic, I could use a defensive mid that can pass the ball. Um, someone like Calvin Phillips, just that doesn't get red cards on purpose, which I think he did yesterday. Anyway, uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.